What's up everyone? Here's the number one thing I think you should be doing in 2023 to do more deals. Uh, hey everyone, Adam Swartz here. The one thing I think you need to really crush and really focus on in 23 is open houses. I'm talking about doubling down on open houses. That's Saturday, Sunday, maybe even a midweek, and this is why. So, you know, it's not great to be looking at houses right now. The market's a little slow, rates are a little high, and the other thing is, is I've always noticed over my career the last seven years is that when it gets cold, Things slow down, especially open houses, because if you're on the fence and you're not a serious buyer, whenever a little hiccup happens, you just don't go do it. That's the one thing I want you to realize. We're going to be dropping a video this Friday, so make sure you check that video out about lead sources. And what I've learned is that the harder it is for a lead to interact with an agent, aka open houses, going to look at homes, they have to get in the car, they have to drive there, they have to stop what they're doing to go get there. That is a more dedicated buyer, and that shows me that these people are more likely to be a transaction. When it comes to online leads, you know, all I gotta do is push a button, and all of a sudden a realtor is calling me. Did that take any effort? when it came to trying to get more information for that deal? Of course not. So that's a big reason why I think open houses will crush. The second reason why I think open houses will crush is because I think of people want to get out and look at things. I think the Zoom meetings are getting burned out. I think people are tired of just looking online. They want to get out there and see and touch and just interact with people. I still think that's a big deal. And the third reason why I love open houses for 2023 is yes, has the market slowed down in 2022? Of course, anything was gonna have to slow it down. But the one great thing about it, open houses, especially if you're a brand new agent, is that is a fixed cost of doing deals. And what I mean by that is like mailers, it continues, you have to pay for it. Uh, online leads, you have to keep paying for it. But an open house, you buy your signs once, and this is how I really crushed it my first year doing 24 deals in my first year, uh, is open houses because I bought my, my 50 signs. Yes, I put out 50 signs. I put out my 50 signs and then after that, that cost was done. So my extra return was so massive on open houses because after you buy your signs, what do you have to do? Maybe some print and if you work in an office that doesn't charge you any print, what does it really cost you? So 2023, if you're not doubling down on open houses, you're gonna be missing the boat because you cannot be keep spending money crazy like we were before on leads because a lot of leads are not transitioning. Remember, Open house stats is one for every 15 people that you meet in an open house is gonna do a transaction in a year. And every one of the stats show that on, when it comes to online leads, one for every 100 is gonna close. So would you rather talk follow up with 15 people or follow up with 100 people? I'm gonna take the 15. Because most people, most agents only follow up twice and it says that you have to at least follow up with 12 times. 12 times, guys. The reason why you're not closing those leads, you gotta follow up 12 times before making contact. So 12 times times 100 people, or 12 times times 15 people, which one would you rather pick? I'm gonna take the 15 people. So the biggest thing is you gotta be doing them right. You gotta be putting out at least 25 signs. You need to be door knocking the neighborhood. You need to be mailing out invitations to the uh, neighbors. You know, have uh, a title rep, get you the addresses for the 100 houses around it, create a little opening house flyer, make it look like an invitation on Canva, print that out, mail it, yes, spend 35 cents a stamp, send that thing out, and make sure that you put your open house signs out early in the day. I like them, we call it soaking. I want my signs to be out there to soak. I want people to see those signs all day long. And then the other tip is to make sure you have a list of everything that's on the market in the area. So if a buyer walks in and you have a four bedroom house and they really want a five bedroom house, have a list of every house you have on the market that has a five bedroom. And then what I do is I then highlight everyone that's vacant direct go. Because if I have a lead that comes in and goes, ah oh, man, you know what? I really need a five bedroom. You know what I do? If if I'm vibing with this person and this person feels serious to me, I go, cool. I have three or five bedrooms I can show you in this neighborhood at this price point. Does that work for you? Do you wanna go check those out right now? Yeah, let's go. I lock up that open house, put a sign on the door saying be right back, and I go show those deals. You know how many clients I have closed because I took an opportunity right there then saying, okay, well let me follow up with you tomorrow. No, you got someone in there, go look right away. That's why it's always good to try to work open houses with two people so then you could end up showing those houses. But have that list of three bedrooms, four bedrooms, five bedrooms, and I like knowing everything that's a single story and everything with a pool.
Those are the big factors I like in it. But having that information is going to really separate you and lose, not lose out on the chance. And then the greatest part about that is you'll find out really quickly if someone has a, an agent or not. Because you go, oh, I got three, five agents I can go show you now. You want to go check them out? Oh, uh, you know, I'm working with an agent, da, 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 whatever, whatever. Okay, great. Well, let me give you the addresses. And if you want to drive by them and look at them and you have any questions, you here's my card. Give me a call. It's not a style I like doing. So remember, 2023 is going to be really big about open houses. If you don't know how to work open houses correctly, because remember, you're going to be spending out there, you know, to put out there many signs. You're going to be spending an hour to put out signs, two to three hours, four hours, sitting at open houses, another hour picking those signs up. If you don't, uh, don't think you know how to work open houses correctly, don't worry. I got an easy slide deck that I built in Canva for my team. So if you want that slide, send me a message. I'll directly email it over to you so you can get an idea of what it looks like to work an open house, uh, a way that will make you actually do transactions in 2023. So like I said, open houses are crushed, flat fee, don't have to spend more money, stop spending money on leads. Go out there, do a little sweat, sweat equity in this market because that's what we're gonna need. In these slower markets, you gotta work twice, save money and do the things that cost less money. The last few years you could buy, 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 buy leads. Now that those leads aren't turning over and things aren't closing so quickly, you just can't. So like I said, if you wanna know more about uh, doing open houses the right way, just send me an email. I'll send you over my slide deck so you can see exactly how we work open houses over there. And uh, if you have any other questions, please let me know. Until next time guys, peace.